know, today I am going to um, be doing a video for my Blue Monday series. This one is, if you guys have seen, ever seen the um, Finding Nemo movie, this one is inspired by Dory, where I'm going to do like a yellow eyeshadow lid with a blue crease. Um, if you want to see how I will achieve this look, continue watching. First, I start off using my Lime Crime Shadow Helper Eyeshadow Helper Primer, and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. And this eyeshadow pretty much is like the best eyeshadow in the world. I mean, not eyeshadow, but eyeshadow primer. I use this on my eyebrows, and as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows. I did that off camera. If you want to see how I did that, I also have um, a video on how I do my eyebrows. So we're just going to take that and prime our eyelids so that way there's no creasing. Next, I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base in white. So that way that yellow pops. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. The sound that you're hearing now, that's my boiler, sorry guys. I am in the basement. Alright. I'm just taking my finger, I'm just gonna blend that out. This is just gonna make my shadow pop. Let's see that yellow. That's what I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna take the corner so that it's more of a precise clean up on the side. That's all I'm going to use the tape for. Second edition BH Cosmetics 120 palette. Taking this. Wow. This color just popped out. But taking this color here on a MAC 217. I haven't even touched this eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take that and put that right here. And I really didn't want to do that, but we'll see how this goes. I'm winging it today. I'm just gonna put this here. I know it looks hella scary right now, right? Hey, Kelly, that's a lot of glue. Like, hi. You don't really care. So blend that out. This navy blue. And I'm gonna put that right underneath it.
more E27, which is clean. I'm just gonna blend those two together. So it's a more seamless blend. You don't want it to look like, oh, well, this color stops here and that color stops there. You want it to be more of a seamless blend. Just taking this BH Cosmetics brush, I'm just gonna buff that in. Put the brush instead of my finger this time. Okay, going in with my Sugar Pill Pro palette using the color. Butter cake, which is this very pigmented yellow right there. Sigma E55 eye shading brush. And I'm just gonna pack this yellow all over the lid. Now taking Violet Voss's um, Loose Pigment Glitter Adhesive Secret Weapon. I'm just gonna take my finger, and this stuff is, uh, ooh, too much. Look what I did, it was just too much. It just spilled over. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put that on top of the yellow. Because you gotta make this yellow pop for more. Okay. I don't know what to do with this. This is like glue. I just put it all over the place. And now taking Sugar Pills Sparkling Neon Picnic in High Viz. This is a neon yellow. And a F70, which is a concealer brush from Sigma. I'm just going to take some of that pigment. And place it. on top This brown shade here, where my finger is, on a Morph E17. I'm just gonna now blend out that top portion of the eyeshadow. And just blend that in to tone some of that blue down. Yes, that's a lot of blue, which doesn't mean you have to be afraid of blue.
Okay, so now off camera, I'm just gonna finish up my foundation and stuff like that. And we'll finish, come back to finish the eyes. See did my eyes. eyeliner, did my face, and now we're just gonna finish up these eyes. So now I'm going to take my 120 palette again. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that navy blue color that I put in the crease and we're just going to smudge out the bottom lash line. And I will be doing that taking, actually, I'm going to take the Sigma E30 pencil brush. And we're just going to... And then on the same brush, I cannot see for the life of me right now. My eyes are watery. I'm going to go in, because I need a black, of course. I'm going in with my Urban Decay Smoke Palette and using the color Back Door, which was my favorite black, and now it's not. Perversion. Perversion is my favorite black to use out of any black nowadays but uh -huh. put that in the back here let's just poke that out a little bit more I know I'm looking crazy, right? Put all this blue. Now, taking this E17 again. And I'm gonna buff that in. No, I already know you gotta buff that in. And y'all know what's crazy? I'm only going to do laundry today. May stop a bath and body works because of candles. But all of this is for you. And now I got to go out. Look at what look like Dory. A sparkling Dory today. But I do it for you guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And I love you guys. I know I only have like 69 or 70 subscribers. But to me, that's enough. And the fact that you guys are watching my videos, I thank you a lot. From the bottom of my heart, I really do. Um, I think that's it for the eyes. Now I need, now I need mascara. And I'm going to take my, if I can find it. I told y'all I can't ever find anything. I'm going to take my Urban Decay suburb version um lash primer because i'm not a girl that has time for false lashes you may see me once in a blue moon with false lashes but i don't have time for it i'm a working girl i work monday through friday to do a full face of makeup and then try to apply a false lash it takes me forever to do that it takes me forever to do a wing liner so i'm just coating my eyelashes with this primer and I've used other primers, like I have the one from NYX, 
that one is garbage it's complete garbage this one you can use it with any eye mask any mascara and your eyes will be popping today I'm using of course my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this is like my all time favorite mascara to use Oh, and if you missed it, I used my Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner in the waterline. So, the first half of this video is filmed on my iPad. The last part of this video is filmed on... The last part is filmed on my Nikon. The first part is filmed on my iPad so if the colors look crazy distorted with what I'm doing now that's because I'm using a different camera let me see if I can turn the light down I don't have a viewfinder so I don't know what I actually look like to you guys and this light is blinding I have this little light on the top of my camera <laughs> excuse me that was nasty oh, I'm so sorry guys That was like an empty stomach burp. Of course, you can't neglect. Can't neglect the lower peeps. Of course not. Can't do that. Can't do that. I know I'm silly, right? Now for lips. Lips, we're going to keep it neutral. Because we have such a bold eye. Of course, I'm talking to. Of course, because we have such a bold eye, we're gonna keep the lip neutral. So today, I'm going to use my LA Splash in Nymphadora. Well, I guess today we won't be priming our lips because I cannot find it. So. And last but not least for blush, I am using Max Desert Rose. I absolutely adore this color. This is like one of the first matte blushes I ever bought from Mac. And I love it.
All right, and let me go put some earrings on because I'm looking crazy. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm all finished. This is the finished look. And I did add a little gold here in the interior dock. That's Strike from my Urban Decay, um, what is this? Vice 2 palette. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up, comment down below, and also subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.